It's out now. When I was a little lad. You kicked yourself off the cop of the country oh no it's not positive way to start the stream is it it's a little loud is that better wednesday adam vibes that is that's the look i go for we used to call my sister wednesday adam because plum berries and cream stop that I'm being bullied in my own stream we used to call my sister wednesday because she was fucking evil virginia jane thank you for the 16 months sicily amelia thank you for the 10 months oh babby is officially a month old indeed indeed fanny's still not healed like but um princess and pink thanking you and swartha thank you so much for the 14 months I look more like a judge than the little lad. Well, it's, I, I am a bit judgy. Thank you, Virginia Jane. I got this. This is not even attached. I'm having a 2014 collar moment, right? Pre-mark detachable collars. So, you know. Oh, Ninja! How are you doing? I do miss you. I do. Clint, thank you so much for the 200 bits as well. Jay, thank you for the 10 months. Well, it's actually a jumper and a top. It's been raining all day and I've been in such an autumnal mood. Um, And then I was like, oh, you know what? I need to gavel. <laughs> I mean, I've got this cat here. That'll not an actual one. I haven't harmed my cat. Um, but yeah, and then as soon as I started streaming, it's actually warmed up. So I'm a little bit pissed off at that. I just like some consistency in my life. Hail, thank you so much for the nine months. We have a baby now. Pop rocks. Thank you for the nine months as well. We also have a babby. I'm not feeling the purple streak in my fringe. I'm waiting for it to go. Do I look like a Victorian doll? Which is not an insult to me. I know that the horn is and everything, but that's the kind of vibe I'm after. Chels, thank you so much for the bits. Iona, thank you for the ten months as well. One month with a babby. I've popped so many out, honestly. I'll never be the same again. Like sausage down a corridor, honestly. Also, just in case anybody's not aware, this is not a family-friendly stream. <laughs> uh, BB, nobody, thank you so much for subscribing. Noob, poop, love your name. Thank you for the bits. K8, damn, thank you for the 10 months. So today, what we're going to be doing is... Um, someone told me that, actually, when I was in, like, year nine. Someone said that... I mean, I... You know what? <laughs> Maybe I'm a bit too comfortable on the fucking internet. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Afitsu, thank you for subscribing. Divey Fitz, thank you for subscribing as well. Oh my god. I really want to wear a bonnet, you know. I really do. Charlie, thank you so much for subscribing. Witchy, thank you for the bits as well. Yeah, we're playing Sims. The bots will probably be on, um, what you call it? On, or, or from Life is Strange. I am shit with Twitch. Um,. I am. I do not know what I'm doing, and everything is because of my mods. Every success I have on Twitch is because of my mods. So if it's down to me, it it simply won't get done because I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Gravestone Angel, thank you for subscribing. Glass Spectrum, thank you for the two months. Thanks for getting pretty serious. <laughs> Arestafa, thank you for the bits. Hipper Room 98, thank you for subscribing. Elizabeth, thank you for the bits as well. My fat dog share, I love your name. Thank you for the three months. Melid, thank you for the bits. Bergs, thank you for subscribing. Bergs, thank you for the 100 bits as well. Katie, thank you for subscribing. Liam McGee, how are you doing? I've missed your name, babe. Thank you for the 100 bits. I do recognise your names in chat, you know. I'm not a distant parent. I am very much here, keeping up with all of your educations. Stardust cards, thank you for 100 bits. I've also got an addiction, right? And it's going to sound bad, but I need to just wait to hear the rest of the sentence before you freak out. I have a coke addiction, specifically only the carbonated kind, thankfully. Thank God I don't have a cocaine addiction. But I've got a coke addiction. I go through phases with it, right? And it's all I can drink. And I've fucking run out. So, Ninja, I would never forget you. How could I forget the man who voted me off a TV show? <laughs> I jest, I jest. <laughs> oh, Rainbow, thank you for subscribing. Tyvee, thank you for the 100 bits. First time catching my stream, welcome. Plan Aurora, thank you for the six months. Amy, thank you for the five months as well. 6MCC, thank you for the 100 bits. How are you today? Doing good, doing good. I recorded two videos today. 
One of them was a build, which was very fucking chaotic. And the other one was um, going back and revisit and get to work because I hadn't ever played it on my channel. So yeah, they'll be out soon. So I've had a good day. And then just working on... Um, I've mentioned it on stream. I haven't mentioned it on YouTube or anywhere, but I'm working on like a... Basically like a nerdy clothing print company kind of thing. Cherry Coke is not nasty. I, I'd like you to take that back, please. Otherwise, you'll get a timeout. That's my favourite drink. Actually, it's diet, cherry cork. Um, I don't like sugar, which is probably a good thing considering how much I consume cork. But yeah, I'm obsessed with it at the minute. It's overtaking coffee, actually. And I feel like I haven't had a drink unless I have that carbonated beverage down my throat. Harriet, thank you for the bit. Em, thank you for subscribing. Ducky, thank you for the bits as well. Greystone Angel, thank you for the bits. How are you guys doing? I have not had Mexican cork. I don't often drink cork with sugar. I don't drink sugar. sugar. Me and sugar do not get along. We're exes and we broke up horribly. I'm not watching UK Drag Race yet, no. I'm actually obsessed with The Office at the minute. It happens like once every year. I put a Halloween episode on and then I was like, right, well, now I'm fully absorbed in this. <laughs> Davy, thank you so much for gifting that sub. Veggie Bomb, thank you for subscribing. Slothneb, thank you for the three months. I'm very excited for my autumnal stream. Little Bear Day, thank you for subscribing. Coco, thank you so much for the 12 months. An official year together. I have partially moved into my new house. This is it. Um, but I'm only living out of this room at the minute because I'm waiting for planning permission to be put forward. Because, uh, well, I want to put an upstairs in. So I'm currently recording from my other house at the minute. And then Halloween starts in Overwatch tonight. I haven't played Overwatch in fucking ages. I still can't get away with hot coffee. Autumnal is such a fun word. The first time I heard the word autumnal, I thought people were taking the piss. I do have some spooky season videos planned. The next entire history of, which Ninja, if you're in chat, actually, I am going to need your help on this one. Um, so sl slide in my DMs or whatever, babe. They're always open for you. It's about the cursed doll from The Sims 3. So that's what I'm going to go for for the next entire history of. Um, and then I think just like autumn builds and stuff. Hot coffee is painfully yet raw. <laughs> Slothnev, thank you for the 100 bits. Yes, we do need to play Overwatch. Also Fortnite. I enjoyed that. We played one round of Fortnite um, in Brit server one time and there was loads of us. I really enjoyed that. If you have any autumn video ideas as well, you can leave them in the Discord too. Because I check that one a lot. The video ideas section of it. Yes, Cottage Living in Windenburg. I might build in Win not Windenburg, in um, Henford on Bagley. Oh, planning approval is your job. You don't by any chance happen to work in the Middlesbrough office, do you? What will you be dressing up as for Halloween? I'm going to be Velma. Well, I've actually been betrayed. Um, thanks for bringing it up. My niece has said to me for absolutely months, let's do a couple's costume. And let's go as Thor and Loki. So I was like, right, that's fine. Because if I don't dye my hair, I'm blonde. And she wanted to be Loki. Because she's that way inclined. Um, and then my sister mentioned having a Halloween party. And I was like, yeah, sounds good. Because me and Isabella are going as Thor and Loki. And my sister was like, sorry, but your niece is going as a triangle guy from some show. And I was like, that little bitch. So I actually think I'm going to go as Sirius Black. Or... What's her face? Coraline. Magic Flower, thank you for the bits. Harriet, thank you for the bits as well. Chad, thank you for subscribing. Kiro, thank you for subscribing. Slothnev, thank you for the 100 bits as well. M Spira, thank you for subscribing. Veggie Bomb, thank you for subscribing. Tabby Fitz, thank you for gifting that sub. Oh, um, Chell's Dancer, I have. I've got a recent video on YouTube of me playing through the Spooky Season Festival. Not the triangle from Mr. Maker. No. Uh, I can't think of what it's called. I think it's an anime. But it's like a triangle guy. But she's not even going as the triangle. It's not Squid Game. Uh, Gravity Falls. I think it's Gravity Falls. But she's, she's not going as the triangle. She's going as one specific fan art that someone's drew of this triangle. So I fucking love her. I don't know what I'm going to be yet. And it's the 12th as well. So don't worry about it. I, you know what? I've been thinking about... Um, 
I think it's Bill, yeah, Bill Cypher from Gravity Falls. I've been thinking about, Jesus Christ, Tybee, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Queen, thank you for subscribing. Bradders, thank you for the bits. Danny, thank you for subscribing. Um, I have been thinking about going, oh my God. Sorry, I've lost my train of thought. What have I been thinking about? Many things, actually. Lots of thoughts in this noggin. Do you like my new um, art as well for the stream? I made it last night when I was watching Bend It Like Beckham. Thank you very, very much for that level five hype train. Jesus Christ. What have I been thinking about that's going to piss me off now? What has been on my mind? It, does, it did hurt, actually, yes. However, today... Um, let's head on in a game. Yes, I've even got a cover around my head. The, the dimensions are a bit off, but I was running out of time. Kiki Bees, thank you for subscribing. Queen, thank you for subscribing as well. Bradders, thank you for the bits. One day, I will know what I was thinking about. Um, but yeah, today I was having like these really bad thoughts and usually they just spiral. And then I could recognize them as anxiety today, which is... It's still not great because I still feel it, obviously, but it was really good to... Oh, why have I only got these installed? Right, hang on. Back to IRL. Back to IRL. Um, but it was good to recognize it. Yeah, I like the smiley face on the clouds. After stream, I will remember, yes. I don't know if anyone checked um, the, the sub part of my... Sorry, I'm just trying to get rid of all these cords to put the packs back on um does everybody like my desktop background as well hang on oh you, we've missed it it's, it's marauders um oh fuck what what were we talking about babes what was what were we talking about How do you do it and even think of the designs? There's a lass that I love. Her content really inspires me. She's called Izzy Z Z Z Z. Or is it Izzy Z Z Z? Um, and I was watching some for art tutorials. And she said that the best thing for her to do is like say if you've got an idea. So like if you've got an idea of a cloud, draw a cloud, but don't just draw that one cloud, draw multiple versions of the cloud, and then yeah, choose she's probably my favourite YouTuber actually. My anxiety. Oh yeah. So it was it. It was nice to be able to like categorize it as anxiety and be like, oh well, you know, like th this is a temporary thing. I have a lot of saves. I I I do a new save for each and every video that I do. I know it's a toxic trait of mine. So yeah, uh, like if you draw a cloud and then draw it again and again and again. So Faj, thank you for subscribing. Kiki Bees, thank you for subscribing as well. Um, but yeah. I'm doing quite well. I don't know how well I'm doing with it. Um, it's still very new to me. I'm sorry to the simmer who made this house. I am going to bulldoze it and it's no reflection on your work. But I'm thinking about my sister has, I hope she doesn't, well, I know she doesn't mind me talking about this because she talks about it very publicly. And I think she likes um, other people knowing that, that they can understand themselves as well. But my sister's got um, bipolar. She was recently diagnosed with it last year. And she's been to see a counsellor for it and like just talk about so many feelings that she's had. And I think that would be really good. I need to move my camera just ever so slightly. Like there, that'd be better. Um, I think that'd be good for me just to talk about it because there's obviously like a lot of things that I struggle with. Because obviously I know like, yeah, if it, I know my breathing techniques. I know that ground yourself. I know that like find five items within the room to look at. Like I know all that, but what's stopping me getting to that point? So I think I'm going to go see the same person that she's going to because she's really understood herself in the past year, which I'm really happy for her. We are building an autumnal house today. I've got absolutely no plans with it, but I'm quite sad, actually, because I've done a build today that was... Um, it should be up like next week or something. It was each room is a different challenge. Challenge? So... The outside of it, I really enjoyed. And then by the time we got around to decorating it, the house was completely ruined. <laughs> so I've had to do this stream to like make up for that. Would you ever build a few years asked you to? Yeah, actually, I know that me and Steph really wanted to. Um, but well, there just hasn't really been anything out for us to do builds for, I guess. Um, but Steph specifically is a fucking amazing builder. But because she's so chaotic, it's like, I've done a video... 
oh, towards the beginning of quarantine, I think. And it was like, I'm, I am a closet builder and I'm coming out as a closet builder because both of our edits, especially mine then, used to rely really heavily on like, well, really heavy edits. Um, and specifically with Steph, like her skills as a builder get so overlooked. But that girl is so fucking talented at building. I will hype up my friends until I die. Float girl, thank you for the two months. Booty meals, thank you for the two months as well. Oh, Debo pumpkin patch. Yes. Yes. See, I don't just want to do like, I don't know what I want to do, actually. But I don't just want to do like a cottage kind of thing. Because I've done a cottage so many times. So I'm open to ideas on like what kind of way we could go. I haven't played more Life is Strange or Stream, no. I've been thinking about it. It's constantly in my mind. <gasps> I think I remembered what I was going to say. In Discord, in the sub bit of Discord, I posted a uh, Life is Strange meme. But yeah. Well, thank you for being here while you can be here, you made it. I appreciate it. Scooter, Scooter Pepe. Um, thank you so much for the seven months. Because I was thinking like a haunted something. Um, but I kind of want to go down a more modern route. I'm really fancying modern builds lately. Thank you, Andy. The the, the colour pops off. It is detachable. The story you tell. Thank you for subscribing. Hi, Earth Mama M. Oh, a haunted farmhouse. Because hangly ongly, hangly ongly. Don't we have barn doors? Am I making this up? Let me check. Hang on. James Turner, it sounds like I'm fucking obsessed with you lately, but I've just been really enjoying your content. I'm sure on his website. Or is it his YouTube? Sorry, James. Don't mind me. But I'm sure I saw Barn Door there. Yes, we do. It's with the new pack. I remember it now. So we could do like a barn house. Harriet, thank you for the bits. Shelby Hive, thank you for the 12 months. That's a very long time. A story to tell. Thank you for subscribing. Oh, hello, Australia. So I think we might do a... But where, where the fuck is it? Oh, here it is. So something like that could be cool. Like, oh, like a renovate bar conversion. That's how we can get the modern in because it's like a renovated. Yes. Yes, I'm feeling it. Megan Parcel, thank you for subscribing. And I'm thinking as well, if we do another wall up here, like this one obviously won't be usable. But just to give the illusion that it's bigger. What if we done something like that? Need to see what colors they are too. Because then we could... Oh, I don't know. If, if there's like a flat shelf or something. I don't know, but we could put something there to cover it up. I think that could be a cute house. Fancy Flot Flotis, thank you for subscribing. Megan, thank you for subscribing as well. Choco Botama. Choco Botama, thank you for gifting that sub. I know, yeah, it does feel illegal for it not to have a red and white swatch. <laughs> It does. It does indeed. But I think something like this could be good. That could be fun. It also reminds me of um, The Sims 3. Spooky Fair. I really miss the Spooky Fair, you know. I think the only... Th like, if I could have one thing to come back from The Sims 3... Oh, I don't know. Actually, that's a bit of a bold statement. Because would it be... The spooky fair and like festivals and stuff or would it be story progression what would you say i've never played final fantasy you know and apparently i get told i reference it a lot i use the fight sounds in videos sometimes but that's all i know about it <laughs> you say story progression so yeah i but it's a different conversation then because is it story progression in terms of like the modded story progression or is it story progression like just the default story progression because they're two different conversations hmm i thought i was really doing something cool with like this but i don't think i'm a fan 
GMG, thank you for the bits. I'm doing very good today. How are you doing? Red Roll Grade, thank you for subscribing as well. I might need to... Let me go on Pinterest. Which is where I get all of my inspiration. Renovated farmhouse. Exterior. Gem Kem, thank you for the two months. A curved rib, you've overestimated my talents, Wazaki. Well, these aren't very farmhousey at all. Oh, it's because I'm looking up. I'm looking for renovated barn. Like, something like that. Apparently, my cousin lives in one of these. I don't know. He's never invited me round. Don't know why. Oh, I've got nothing. <laughs> no, it's not deep. He just lives far away. <laughs> GMG, thanking you. A story to tell. Thank you for gifting that sub as well. Shelby Hive, thank you for the 300 bits. So happy it have been sub for 12 heckin' months. I've changed my username since I've... Oh, my God. Skook. Well, now I'm never going to know if it's Skook or Skook. <laughs> <laughs> Tall walls might be a shout, actually. And then we can just get rid of that. And it might even be enough. God, you guys are so... So clever, you keep me young. Yes, I like that. But it's far away, according to England, honestly. Should we have this conversation? Because the majority of my friends are American. Although I don't know if that's true now because all the ones are the uh, UK. Um, but it's been absolutely fucking bizarre to hear what Americans class as close. Like Americans class close as two hours. Absolutely not. Oh, that one can't be lower, can it? See, 45 minutes away is like traveling away for university. I was about 45 minutes away from university and that felt very long. Of course I care about your autumn. You're my favourite season. I don't know what to do about these side bits. <gasps> Got it. Let me turn it on its side. Because the side bits are throwing me off a little bit. Now the lighting's throwing me off though. There, that's better. And then... Oh, I think I am going to need to do two floors. Because otherwise the rest of the house is going to have to be like a higher floor. 45 minutes, you'd still be in Toronto. I, my cousin as well. The one who lives far away probably lives like 20 minutes away. Which is... Not far. <laughs> but it's too far for us. Yeah, something in debug could uh, bridge the gap. But what I want to do here, which is pr probably why the second wall height wouldn't work, but I might put it on that one. You know when you get like the really long bands, but they're quite narrow? Like that. My cat's trying to look for me. I'm in here, darling. <sighs> Single mom who works two jobs, who loves her kids and never stops. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'll curve the roof a little bit. Would you like to say hello to the stream? It's not picking up his pairing. Just know that he's pairing right now. This one's Salem. Raven Simbill, thank you for the 10 months. Pepper Pretzel. I hope I pronounced that right. Thank you for subscribing. Kim in Wonderland, thank you for subscribing as well. Storytell, thank you for gifting that sub. I don't know where Mooney is. Oh my God, Mooney's just... Hang on, hang on, hang on. I move. Oh my God, why can't I show this? Excuse me, thank you. I still can't. There's Mooney. My angel. Oh, fucking hell. My angels. I was going to call mine Binks, Kleptosimiac. 
from um, Thackeray Binks, who has sent me a video, actually, not personally. He doesn't know who I, who I am. Um, but Brittany went to see... Oh, she went to some con and she made him record a video of me because I think I think Thackeray Binks was how I... like. I think it was my awakening as a child. Not in the cat format, by the way, but when he gets like changed to being a human... Just want to put that, <laughs> I want to get that one clear. Hmm. I don't know. I might make this smaller because I don't like how it's interlapping, overlapping. Something like that. And then over here, I'm fucking with this, guys. I'm really feeling it, actually. Over here, we can have like a... A water thing. I don't know what these actually are, but they look like mushrooms to me. Gwen Tamara Games, thank you for subscribing. A silo! That's it. But they do look like mushrooms. Do they have... They're like a... F they're like a curved roof, aren't they? God, this is complex when you... You really get into it, innit? Oh. We might just have to ignore that that's coming through there. That'll do. Or is it hexagonal? <laughs> Scarlet Dorothy, you stop that. It does. Right, moving on. Deleting the top bit of it. Well, that, now that looks like Cinderella or something. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to put anything on it now, am I? Because I'm only ever going to be able to think of that. Oh, this could be cute. I'll put that on there for now until we're all distracted. Now, minds have been emptied. <laughs> moving on, moving on. Right, if it's on the outside of it. Are they brick or wood? I mean, that one will be brick. Don't mind me just testing out literally every single brick in game. My mind will never empty. Shut my femur, thank you for subscribing. This is an entirely original build, yeah. Like, not a renovation or anything. Keep the phallic tower. <laughs> Yeah, I'd definitely stream Fortnite, but I don't think I'd stream Fortnite solo because I'm too focused. I think um, I'd have to stream Fortnite with friends, which is fucking chaotic anyway. If, you, if you've never played Fortnite before, I'll give you a really quick thingy of it because I need to tell the story. But basically, you're on a map um, and the map gets smaller and smaller and smaller, like the the places that you can go and a storm comes in so but so if you go in the storm you will eventually die because it like depletes your health but there's also these like porta potties and some of them you can just hide in but some of them transport you throughout the map so me Brittany, and um scorpio reader we were playing a game <laughs> i think it was not last night but the night before and we were fighting someone and then they jumped into one of these porta potties and Brittany was so flustered she was like I, I cannot enter i cannot enter why will it not let me enter why will it not let me enter and then she was like oh it's let me enter now she enters and then you just hear the noise of her dying because the porta potty transported her into the part of the map where the storm was it was absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful I'm going to go for a more muted. I think this is more um, British. Like the more muted colours. I don't know whether to go for a darker door, but that looks like a gaping hole. Just like my ass. British. <laughs> I still love that. The entire reason I do this fake British accent, despite the fact that I am literally British. Like, I am British. I have a British accent, just not a stereotypical one. But I do a fake one because of Britney. I'm going to keep that one. <laughs> Cave and Hall's phallic houses. Love it all. <laughs> right, and then... I don't know whether... I had this idea, but I'm going to test it out first. 
because the the windows that came with Solani have got an open bit to them. Where are you, babe? These windows keep hiding from me. This bit. But I'm not too sure now that I can actually see it in practice. No. No. I think I hate it, actually. I also... I think before I <laughs> lay windows... Before I put windows in, I think I'm going to make a floor plan first. So I kind of know where I'm, whereabouts I'm going. I might have, I can't remember, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, it might have been Claire Siobhan who done the other build like this where it had a loft overlooking. I think I'm going to do that. So we've got a kind of open bit. Oh, you know what to go really good there? A cir circular staircase. Oh. <sighs> Cot Smith, thank you for subscribing. Lisa, thank you so much for the 13 months. Autumn and the Sims 4 is my perfect cup of tea. Sending so many best wishes, Plumbella. Thanking you. It's my perfect cup of tea as well. Might be in James. We can do something like this for a curved staircase, though. Obviously not this colour, but... Well, this is it's not working how I want it, actually. That just takes up so much more space than needed. Right, we can do it like that, maybe. Or am I just complicating things? What if we just did a ladder? Eh? Just a nice, simple ladder. That's more Barney, you know. And I've really fallen in love. I might not end up using it, but I've really fallen in love with this fence from um, Get Together. Barney. <laughs> Barney is a dinosaur. Da, 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 da. And then... Oh shit, we actually have a lot of space down here. I might make this smaller. Or maybe I might make it smaller this way. So then it's got more di I'm I'm shutting out terms here. I, li I literally do not have any fucking skill in architecture. But so it's got more dimension on the side there. So it's not just like one flat thing. And then we've got something easier to work with here. I'm not a Mackham. <laughs> Yes, I'm sorry. I'm not a Macam. If anyone's not from the Northeast, the Northeast is like, no one hates the Northeast like the Northeast hates the Northeast because um, we've all got different names for each other. I'm a Smoggy. Smoggy is what they call people from Middlesbrough from um, like the smog from the industry. Smog monsters as in we're so polluted that we're, we're smog monsters that come out from the smog. So yeah, I'm not a Macam. I am a Smoggy. <laughs> Oh, and there's um, there's a story about Hartlepool as well, which I won't get into. Oh yeah, no, I I do love the northeast. I do love the northeast. I find it absolutely hilarious. I get um, Liverpool a lot as well, but I think it's because I say like work, purple circle, but I think it's also because of like the industrial revolution. I think that's got so much like hold over accents kind of thing when Teesside Junior was so confused when people called themselves smoggies but you gotta love it I had a, a teacher who wasn't from Middlesbrough and she taught me at Teesside Juni and she said the first thing that she was confused over when she came up here was the way people just said our so like if I said oh our mam it would mean my mam or like a bit further up north it's war like war mam um there is a joke as well <laughs> I'm going to say it. I don't know if it'll land, but I can't even remember it. Hang on. 
there's a there's a war going on. Um and it's hit Newcastle. And this band have been robbed as well. So this robin is obviously tied in to the war sometimes. Um <laughs> I'm so shy at telling jokes. And a bunch of Geordies look and go, That's war drums. It's like war, war. Could mean war is in ah, could mean war is in mine. But yeah, our means like my. So I'd say like, oh, our mum. Oh, I went to our grandma's. Right, I need to work out what the fuck I'm doing here because this is a very difficult thing to try and work out. I might use that to section it off and have like a downstairs bathroom. And then here, I might have... Oh. See, it all depends on... Do I have this as like a cozy... Yeah, I'm going to have this as a cozy kitchen open dining room area. And then I'm going to have this one as a living room. Because then I can also fit in... One of these. Obviously not the Realm of Magic one, but... Like that there. And I do like the, the, the thought of a, a cozy kitchen. Oh, I can even use the pack, but it is all supposed to be modern, isn't it? We'll figure it out. Yeah, people genuinely think I'm Irish. <laughs> but that one, I also... The, the accent, I don't think, is similar. But also, there's a lot of things that we say that are similar. Like, we say crack. Um, Like, we're, we're raised on... Not not raised on crack, but like we're raised on saying crack. And what else is there? I think that might be it. But yeah. Good crack, shite crack, and stuff like that. Um so yeah, I think people think I'm but I also think it's hard to distinguish the accents if you're not from like the surrounding areas. I have not done any of the... I'm going to leave the landscape until last because I can't look at the penis. I can't look at it. Not today. I don't know whether to do something like that. Something like that. See, I could go more modern with, the, with this one because it's got more modern swatches. I might go for a blue kitchen. Yeah, we have Marty. Like, stop being so Marty. MMCMII, thank you for subscribing. Emily Ann, thank you for subscribing as well. Distressed, thank you for the 100 bits. Court Smith, thank you for subscribing. Premark. I'm going to start a civil war in the, in the chat now. The rest of the UK says Primark, but everyone I know... That's a lie, actually. Some people don't. But the majority of people that I know say Primark. And it really is enough to start a civil war. Yeah. Uh, we say me as well. I'll right, just get me shoes on. Oh, you shot us. Us. Us for my as well. Like shot us me, me keys. It's gone. A pre, pre mark is like. um, It's just like a shop. It is actually pennies, yes. I wonder why they didn't carry pe pennies on in the UK, though. Because it is pennies in Ireland. Sometimes I forget that we've got, like, an integrated thingy now. <gasps> oh, guys, I've had a fucking mare. Absolute mare in my new house. Right? They left me, like, a hob and stuff, which is lovely. But this hob... The company name on it is a company from Middlesbrough in the fucking 80s, right? <laughs> and only one of the four hobs work. And I'm finding it really difficult to justify cook and teas. with Because can you imagine trying to cook a tea with one hob? A hob is... This. I don't know what, what do Americans call it. Stove, stove top, we call it a hob. So there's only only one of them. 
and it's electric as well which i'm really not used to i'm completely used to just using gas so yeah we say breakfast dinner tea supper but everywhere else it's breakfast lunch dinner oh it can't be called pennies because of jc pennies interesting I don't know if this barn's going to be renovated anymore to, to be modern. Because I'm kind of enjoying the vibes. Place the fucking counter. Where's the... Where, where's me counter gone? Where's me counter gone? We Our supper is like... Bits and bobs after tea. Like if you're gonna have toast or something, I call I call them buns. Hey, there's another civil war for you. <laughs> we have so many different ways to name bread in the UK, and like people get pissed off. It's a genuine fight we have. I might slip a microwave right there. I read balms, balm cakes, cob, but in the, like, we have different names for, like, we've got Fadgy, um, what else have we got? Oh, Sam, what's the, what's the, it's dead stodgy and it's like a big circle and it's dead thick, what do we call them? Stotty, 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 we have stotties as well, that's the, um, bread with a little dip in, that's the stotty as well, um, my family fucking love bread. I guess I'm going for a bit of a gold theme in here. Very random of me, but... It doesn't go... I'll go for blue and yellow. That's as close as I can make it. Flan. I was going to live in this house. No one. <laughs> oh my God, there's my counter. Hey, babe, what are you doing over there? Cheeky, cheeky. You're naughty, naughty. Froggy Ollie, thank you so much for the 18 months. Oh yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot of words. One thing that's quite funny is um, we don't really in Middlesbrough, but it, it, it can be. Um, sweets are called Ket, which is funny. Because Ket is obviously <laughs> not sweet in a wider context. <laughs> Ketamine. But we don't refer to like ketamine as sweets. We refer to sweets as ket, but not ketamine. Drugs. <laughs> Let's play. What do you call it when? What do you call it? When you swing on a rope hanging from a tree. Don't take that the wrong way. It's PG. Tie you swing rope swinging, swinging, rope swing. We call it um, Tarzi, Tarzian. Do I keep those chairs? I'm going to make them all yellow. What do you call it when you give someone a lift on the pegs of your bike? <laughs> I would never call a bum bag the American word in the UK. Fanny pack? Croggy. Yeah, I've heard Croggy. We we also call it a tan. <laughs> These are such specific instances, I cannot name them. We have specific, very, very specific, <laughs> like, names for everything. <laughs> I'm trying to think. There is actually a 
Middlesbrough slang. There's an entire thing. Um, this last row, a blog on it. Bridget of the North. I don't know if it still works. No, it's asking me to do a security check. I don't trust that. There's loads of words like battered. My head's battered would mean like really confused. But also battered means like hit in a fight and defeated in a fight. Um, mint. It was very bizarre for me when... Can you remember the TikTok that went viral and it was like fucking mint? That was really bizarre to me because that is a very like northern term. Fucking mint. Knocks me sick. <laughs> Class, I love class. That's a fun little rug. Am I a fan of it? I think so. But is that incorporating too many colours? Ah, oh, fuck. That's a fun rug. Also, do you like this music? It's a. Uh, it's a bit loud. Do you mean the music or the or the rug? It's the, the only bit that's throwing me off is the red. If the rest of it was just blue and yellow. But then I could also like... Add a bit of red in somewhere. Oh, do, do we have a consistent colour palette? I think we do. Shocked. Oh, what do you call it when you go to school, but you don't go to school when you're supposed to. Um, scarved off, nicked off, or scarved off. And I want a red painting over here that could like tie it all in oh i'm feeling the vibes of this you know oh my god that's yellow blue and red that could be a potential one hooky hooky sounds like hooking up with someone if i told my mum and dad if i said i didn't go to uh, school today i was playing hooky i love this painting i kind of want to use it I just wish I could size it just a little bit uh, lower than that. It was also coming out day yesterday, I think. Was it? Am I making that up? I do feel like it was, though. It was. Well, I hope it went well for everybody. I'm going to do that picture instead. I'm going to use this in, like, here. I think that's a bit too. Yeah, I hope coming out day went well for everybody if, if anyone decided to do it. Shit myself. I had my cat move. And a Tom Sawyer. Who's Tom Sawyer? I'm so out the loop. I'm so out the loop. Oh, thank you, honey bat. I worked really hard and then they took me fucking ages. So I'm really glad that you like them. <laughs> Ding dong ditch. We call it knock a door run. Is my music ended? Yes. It was a bit eerily quiet. Knocky knocky nine doors. I've heard knocky knocky nine doors. But also just knock a door run. I think if we put just a little rug in front of here, like there, I think that's pretty much done apart from the wallpaper or maybe something here. 
Maybe a coat rack or something in the corner. No. The standing one. And then a mirror. I'll be so happy for the day when we can proper customise the height of mirrors, you know. And then a shoe rack. A shoe rack. There we go. Holly, thank you so much for the eight months. Em, thank you for the bit. Uh, bitch. <laughs> thank you for the bit as well. <laughs> yeah, thank you for the bitch. Yeah, I think we're pretty much done. In here. Apart from the wallpaper. But I might just do... What's on the outside? I need to sort that out as well. I might do brick all the way there. And brick all on that side. Maybe. I might do brick all of the way. And then these back walls can be like a feature wall. I always get stuck on the tiles. I do struggle with the tiles. Orange Lamp, thank you for subscribing. <sighs> Sinity, thank you for subscribing as well. Sorry for the big sigh. I am pleased that you subscribed. I just needed to breathe in. I have asthma. <laughs> but that proper sounded like I was, all, like, I was like, oh, Sinity, thank you for subscribing, I guess. What do you call, it's called the rubber band you put your hair up with? We call it a bobble. I might do that one actually because then oh my, yeah that ties it all in together i would like to place a window here as well but i think i might end up deleting it by the time it gets to like style on the outside but a window like that could be cute oh look at that Ella, thank you so much for subscribing. Vermilia, thank you for subscribing as well. Jane Austen, how are you doing? Thank you for the bit. I snuck off to the bathroom at work to catch the stream. Thank you for joining. I hope work's going well. I quite like the tile. I'm happy with that tile for the kitchen. And then the bathroom is going to be here. I'm not going to put a bath in it. If you can hear your children in the background of my video... Um, it's my niece and nephews. They like to come around and play on my front. They don't come and see me. They come and play in my garden, right? Which has nothing in it. It's overgrown. <laughs> but they find it absolutely fascinating. Our hairband's more like... Um, specifically, the band that goes around your hair. Like a one that you push back. I have played hockey, actually. I used to be on... Um, the team in year seven. I only ever played one match in year seven because I was shit. I also used to play it in year six as well, but never like on a team or anything. Just after school. And then I failed one match and I was like, well, best quit. <laughs> I hate bathrooms. Let's just chat while I just fill this bathroom full of empty shit. I hated rounders. I was never a very good runner because of the asthma. So I never really thrived in stuff like that. I liked hockey because I, I liked the, the thing that came with it, I think. And I like basketball as well because you can shoot with through a hoop. But anything that requires lots of running, absolutely not. My, my, my mum had to write a letter each time. Sorry, Jessie's asthma is bad. You couldn't possibly partake. Yeah, PE was traumatic for me as well. I really, well, I still do. Not so much now that I'm on the pill. Um, but I've always had really bad periods as well. And when they'd be like, exercise make it feel, makes it uh, the pain feel better. Like, Bleh. no. <laughs> right, that's the, the bathroom's actually quite cute. Lifeless, but cute. All right, I don't, should we do the... I think I need a flower or something on this bit. Should we do the bedroom or living room next? See, it's not even so much about the pain. Like, 
it probably does make the pain feel better somewhere but it's not just that it's the fact that like i'm on a pay my period like <laughs> and running through the entire running next to the entire school where all the classes can yeah it's just it was just too much this wallpaper is from cottage living it's sun sunlit stone living room okie dokie we have no windows still should i work on that I think i should let me just put some windows in first come on oh, thank you so much for subscribing mcm mmc mii thank you for the bits as well i don't know should we just put i don't know see it looks weird with that window being the only one there unless we put like one of those I don't know. It would be nice to have windows. <laughs> indeed, indeed it would be. I might put that there. I'm taking gaps in speech because I'll tell you the truth. I really don't trust my decisions. Right, yeah, I'm going to put that there. Make this like a warmer colour so it blends in a little bit more. And I'm just going to hide all the mistakes. Robert Abs, thank you so much for the five months. I'm going to hide all of my mistakes with this. And I might even end up just putting a tree at the back of the house. And just pretending the back of the house doesn't exist. There we go. Right, and then I think I'll put bootcases and some on that side. Simone, thank you so much for the three months. Professor Winter, thank you for subscribing as well. Samantha, thank you for subscribing too. Rocket Abs, thank you for the five months as well. Where shall I put? I don't know whether to put like two big ones. I'm just going to grab any big window, but like two big ones there. Or just a. Although I suppose we've got the other side. I'll put two big ones there, eh? And then we can have the bootcases there. <laughs> Just like with Vixella, we don't look at the back. Me and Sasha have that in common. We share birthdays and we share flaws. <laughs> Alaska Roll, thank you for subscribing. Rokio, thank you for subscribing as well. <laughs> also, Simone, Bessie, this top is life-changing. It's got a removable collar. Where's the front door? This is the front door. You just can't tell because it gives absolutely no light to the place. <laughs> oh. Oh, you know what? These windows might... Might... You know what? Actually. Maybe not that. No, definitely not that. Um... Maybe the... Oh, no, I'm just looking for a brown. Basically, like, the winters I've just put in, but doors. These ones might work. And then that kind of brings back the barn thing. What? The collar gives me RBG vibes. What's RBG? All my mind's reading as, ah, berries and green. <laughs> Major 17th century vibes with the collar. Well, do you know what? I was in an autumnal mood and thought nothing is more autumnal than not peasants, what they're called. Pig. Not pagans. Pilgrims, that's it. <laughs> peasants. <laughs> yeah, nothing is more autumnal than pilgrims, so... Although, I think that's just Americanized in me. Like, are they even autumnal? I don't know. Once again, I'm going to hide the fact that it's not even by putting, putting these in. Also, if anybody's interested, I finished um, the doctor fic like the the vet fic where Rima Lupin was a vet and it was very good I do recommend it's called just what the doctor ordered on AO3 <gasps> I could even turn some of them red 
Because it, it's an autumnal build after all, is it not, Your Honour? It's throwing me off a little bit because they're not all red, but we're just in the middle of changing seasons. It's fine. Fuck yeah, the good crunchy leaves. I remember um, picking my niece up from school like years ago and making her pick up all of the crunchy leaves so I could sit and keep them in a jar and feel them. That is a bit weird, isn't it? Right, I'm happy with them. I'm going to put some, like, where it's more green, I'm just going to put the, some of the, the mid colours to kind of just try and make it look like it matches a little bit. Ten is my doctor. Thank you so much for the nine months. We have a little babby. I love crunchy leaves. Oh, shit, we've got this side of the house as well, don't we? Oh, you know what? You can just have a, have a couple of them. couple of them and I might shot a tree at the base oh is this new I I've not seen that oh this tree is perfect what is hanging from the tree apples I, I don't know. Hang on. What secrets does this tree hold? What is behind its blue door? We may never know. If your sims indulge in this tree's magnificence on the home lot, specifically at night time when its light is not only a surprise but also delight. Oh, it was bonus con. Oh, shit. Yeah, I forgot about that. I'm going to have this tree hide the this you know what I might i might just delete that oh look at the cozy vibes i can't work like proper section by section i have to have like a completely messed up way of working I like the overgrown look though. I'm having fun! Do you a particular way of doing something? Never, Jessica. The front door is this, but it's it can also be that. It's up to you, babe. Whichever way your sim wants to take things, they can take things. Just trust in them. Brittany, can we can I talk about the thing? Do I have your permission to talk about the thing? I can talk about the thing. Okay, cool. So um, I've wanted to set up a podcast forever, right? And I recorded a podcast alone before and I just I just wasn't feeling it. It just didn't feel right. Like I, I, I couldn't bounce off myself well. I feel like I can bounce off myself right, right now because I've got things to talk about, like specifically The Sims. I don't know if it's making any sense, but basically um, me and Brittany are starting a podcast together and we were thinking about video ideas today like podcast ideas and oh god I'm so fucking excited one episode that we've got planned is called embarrassing stories and I'm not going to spoil it but Brittany sent me the thing of working on working on mine already Jesus fucking Christ I'm so excited excited for you to see I feel like I've got my mojo back a little bit because I feel like I've got so so many exciting things planned and like I'm actually this is so depressing I am finding joy in the things I like again <laughs> Good for you. You look happy and healthy. And me, actually, if anyone cares to ask. This is going to be fucking class. See, Brittany is like my soul sister. Like, I feel, really feel like no matter what, she would have come into my life anyway. Like, we would have had to have found a way to get to each other. And we, she, she, I can't hold a conversation. <laughs> 
I can hold a conversation. Um, and Brittany can do it for me. So we work really well together. I'm going to put some orange flowers in. I, I, I don't know if these will even technically be in season, but it's fine. I'm actually going to change this bit to mud because we're going to do our pumpkin patch bit. Jesus Christ. Lissa D, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. That is so kind. Thanking you. I'm on a hope I find a Britney. Honestly, um, it took me a very, very long time and it took me lots of shitty friendships to find a Britney. But now I not only have a Britney, I have all of my other friends as well. And Britney's got other people as well. I'm not Britney's only. Um, but it does happen. And genuinely, from because you have seen the shit... <laughs> I've been through some shit and you just know this, but having no friends is still so much better than having shit friends. I absolutely promise you. Not that Britney's a shit friend. Like, I'm glad that I have her in my life. But being alone, I've got like two IRL friends that I see a couple of times a year. And even that is so much better than what I had before. I'm going to do a pumpkin patch here. The rest of it looks a bit empty. But I usually get overexcited with, like, landscape. And then I can never be asked to finish the rest off. I'll just put some plants or some line in it. Or I might just put stones. Yeah, I love my own company. And I'm so glad I do. It's a really good trait to have to enjoy your own company. Like, I genuinely have fun and enjoy myself when I'm alone. I don't... But I'm, I'm also massively an introvert. Like, I recharge by being alone. And I think it's a good thing. For me, anyway. But I'm also in a family full of introverts. Nobody th would think it right, but my family is entirely introverted. Just not with each other. Because we don't have a chance because we all live so close to each other. <laughs> like, you know the spoon theory? None of my family takes spoons off me. I think I'm done there. No, I'll just shot a couple more autumnal. I just like the colour orange. Stuck in purgatory. Thank you so much for the 17 months. Robin, thank you for subscribing as well. Yeah, the spoon theory, I've never like quite found a way to display how I go through life because sometimes I can stream and it, it causes a lot of guilt as well because I've spent a lot of my time, um, hang on, be show hidden objects. Like obviously I have autism and that and I, I find I compare myself to other people because I'm like, I wish I could do this and I wish I could stream this amount and I wish I, I, I didn't have to blah, 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 blah. And it's always been quite hard for me. But then like looking at the spoon theory and stuff, it's it's nice to be able to understand like oh that's why i feel like like why i feel like that i just didn't have any spoons on that day pov i have never been with pumpkin patch <laughs> pov i do not know how pumpkin patches are arranged <gasps> oh but we could have like a little showcase of pumpkins here I've already bought pump pumpkins. Oh, this is so cute. Pumpkin spice milk. Oh, fun. I also want to put some little outdoor lights as well. Yeah, you know what? Like, usually I'm not that asked about, like, the Americanization of things. Like, I wouldn't like the UK to get Thanksgiving and stuff like that. Um, Black Friday, I'm glad that the UK generally took a stance against that. Um, but Halloween, it's becoming a bigger thing. And I really am quite satisfied with the fact that Halloween is becoming big in the UK. Because, like, when I was a kid, Halloween, we put um, a black bag over our body and literally painted our skin green and that was it that was everyone's halloween costume but now it's getting huge and i am overjoyed because it's my favorite thing halloween halloween beats christmas to me 
I love it. And I love, like, decorating my houses and stuff. Anyway, back to the living room, which I promptly forgot. <laughs> but, I mean, at least I like the outside. The outside's fun. I deliberate for so long over bootcases every single time. Because I don't know whether I should, like, make it fit in. Like, do I do those type of bootcases or do I do a more modern bootcase? I actually think I prefer them. The entire outside of this just feels like beamish. I, I think I might be taking my dad to... My dad comes home tomorrow. Um, and we were supposed to go to beamish last time. But time just... Like the last time he was home. But time just got away with us. And I think we might be going this time. So I'm excited about that. I fucking love beamish. They are not even... Beamish is a open air museum. Fun fact, it's an open air museum, which means like you can walk about it. It's like a living museum kind of thing. Um, and I've done a, a project on it at university, which is fun. Not leather. I can't put air leather in a, in a farmhouse because then it'll be like, oh, well, you know what? This came from the cow outside. Uh, but yeah, it's like a you can walk around it and everything. I love Beamish. And there's an old fair... I don't know what city to go for. Oh, perfect. It's so good. Be mission not the city, but I mean the city too. We can have a little praise moment. I'll keep the blue theme going and all. I don't know if that looks weird, but I'm putting up with it anyway. Um, I went to Beamish for my birthday as well. Looking a bit pilgrimy today, <laughs> Jessica. Amanda Hoots. That is my plan. That is where my loyalties lie. <laughs> Looking like a pilgrim. If I don't look like a pilgrim, I don't want to. I, put, I literally put it on this um, before I got ready for stream. And I knew... They're like, I'm going to have to do them a cream or something because they're ever so slightly not the right colour and it's going to bother me. We'll go for yellow. Blue and yellow. My favourite colours today, apparently. Oh, it is cosy. One time we stayed in a um, haunted cottage. Have I, ever, I think I've told the story. But yeah, it was haunted. And it was quite scary, actually. Yellow. <laughs> Winder. Yellow. I thought it looked like a bit like an Edwardian lad, but Pilgrim works too. <laughs> I'm a little lad. I, would... I agree. I do. I don't know what to put here. Do I just put another chair? No. You currently live in a haunted house, so that's fun. You cannot give me that amount of details and not give me your horror stories. Can someone please help me locate the cottage living? You know what? I might just search for it using the tags. The cottage... There it is. I might just put a wall decoration over here or something. Because I still want it to be usable by the bootcase. Because if I put a desk... It's going to block that off. Oh, but I actually kind of like how that looks. Well, blocking it off, we go with. Maybe if I put a small desk and then we've still got room. 
Because I don't actually think we've got that much room upstairs. That's cute. I quite like it. And then in, uh, I don't know what to fucking do for the wallpaper now. I mean, we could go all out with the autumn theme. If anyone's looking for autumn wallpaper and stuff, they have a brilliant selection in Argos. Not sponsored. Your mum used to be besties with a dead girl in our house until she moved out of it. Ooh. My parents went to a group seance at a haunted house the other day and supposedly the ghost of my grandmother wouldn't stop talking trash about the other spirits there. That's absolutely amazing. <laughs> One time I was at a friend's house until 4am. My sister told me the next day that she was annoyed with all of my moving around in my room that night. I asked her what time she'd heard all the noise. No, no, no. She said about one. There is only one way into my bedroom and you have to go through her room and we're on the second floor. I love the love heart at the end of that. <laughs> Just said to me my love while I read out something truly terrifying. See, I always think that I don't believe in ghosts, right? Like the logical part of my mind is like, obviously they don't exist, blah, blah, blah. But in my heart, I'm terrified of them because I don't believe that they don't exist. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't think I'd be as terrified if I genuinely didn't think that they existed. But I think a big part of me genuinely does think that they exist. Just me overthinking whether or not I believe in ghosts. <gasps> Molly, can we please go on a ghost hunt, please? My auntie, actually, um, she's really into ghost hunting. She's been taking a camera around all the old... Because there's shitloads of old places in Europe, obviously. Like, you can go around any corner and you, you've got a castle. Um, so she's been taking her camera equipment all there. I'd love to go ghost hunting, but I would piss my pants. And I don't mean that as a joke. Like, haha. Like, I would piss my pants. Oh my god, my mum fully knew the girl was dead and she never spoke a word, but the girl even followed my mum to a sleepover once. We're going on a ghost hunt, we're going to catch a big one. <laughs> Your ear got side in, oh no, it's Phasmo IRL, fuck that. I would be Gemma Collins. I would live, no, I would cry. Open that fucking door now. <laughs> oh, that's terrifying. That's terrifying. I've never been on one. But my my grandma is a unique individual, right? And my grandma is... Um, well, she classes herself as a Buddhist, first and foremost. Um, she's really in uh, Buddhism. She's very open to all religions, my grandma. And she also classes herself as a Protestant. And she also classes herself as a spiritualist. Because she was like brought up in spiritualism and stuff like that. And my great nana who we called little big nana she always said that i had the gift i really do genuinely believe it was just autism though because my grandma also thought i had the gift but the what she thought why she thought i had the gift was because of autism um funnily enough but yeah i've been taught like from a very young age never fuck about with ouija boards jessica is there anything else i can add here a rug maybe a plant, a couple of plants. But yeah, I know never to fuck about with Ouija boards. And also, if it, if if I feel like a ghost is following me, I will ask Archangel Michael for his protection. Um, and I will say that I am not open to any ghosts following me home today, not now, not ever, and that they are making me uncomfortable. And please leave. And I wonder why I have anxiety. <laughs> Oh, even though mom's in the chat saying absolutely don't touch them boards. In fact, I remember my mom, and this is probably bullshit a, a bullshit story, just to make sure I wouldn't play with them. But I remember my mom as a kid saying, do not ever touch a Ouija board because I went to school. You know that story? I went to school with a lass. I went to school with a lass who touched a Ouija board and died. And I genuinely remember my mom telling me the story about this lass dying because she played with the Ouija board and it sent her so insane in the head that she died. But yeah, I wouldn't fuck around with a Ouija board anyway. You don't need to tell me twice, Julia. Oh, 
Oh god, I'm really fucking with the vibes of this. My grandma claimed to see Elorona, the crying woman that drowned her sons when she was living... Oh my god, I've heard about her. When she was living in Mexico. And it's made me paranoid to go near rivers or lakes. I'm terrified of rivers and lakes. Like, especially dark rivers. I had a nun teach us SPHE when I was 15 and she spent a whole class telling us about the dangers of Ouija boards. I don't fuck with them. I went to a psychic once. J -j Gemma, thank you for the seven months. Spooky seven months. Love you, Vids. Great to catch your stream today. Thanks for your ongoing openness about stuff, including mental health. After mulling over for a year and waiting, finally got diagnosed yesterday with ADHD, age 29. Relief. Love you. Oh, congratulations. I know it's not probably... Some people might not want it to be celebrated, but it, it, it helps so much with the understanding of yourself. I'm so happy that you got the diagnosis. And I hope that um, life's a little bit easier for you now. But yeah, one time I went to a psychic and they didn't know me. I, I'd never met them before or anything like that. They had no preconceived notions about me or anything. I wasn't wearing any necklaces. Um, I just looked like your typical youth, shall, shall we say. And he pointed me out from a crowd and told me that the reason that I am especially drawn to churches and why I'm so deep in a church is because... Jesse, I don't fuck with churches. I don't fuck with rivers. Gets in a river with McMuffin. I'd, and I'd do it again. I'd do it again. But he said that the reason that I'm so drawn to churches and constantly in churches and stuff is because my spirit guide is a nun. And although that made sense, because, I mean, again, probably the autism, to be fair. Because, um, like, what 14-year-old has a special interest in church, you know what I mean, and goes to church every weekend without being forced. But... Rather than comforting me, rather than making me think like, oh, so that's why it just fucking terrified me. And I covered up every single mirror in the house when I got home. So that's my story. <laughs> Tater Top, thank you for subscribing. I feel like the, the, the outside of this needs a little bit more to it. Especially because it's like covered in darkness now. Oh, that looks cute. Might shot like a, some lights on the outside. I don't know if it'll pull up in the day. But on the night, at least, it'll have something more about it. And I might put a clock. This might not suit, though. But I'm willing to think about it. No, it kind of ruins the vibe, doesn't it? Jesse, I'd never mess around with a Ouija board. Also, Jesse and Fazamo. Bloody Mary. <laughs> That's different. I can justify that because I don't feel like she's real in um, Phasmophobia. But I would never say Bloody Mary in front of a mirror three times. Like, I'm just not willing to fuck about with the afterlife that much, you know. Terrified of them, actually. If the afterlife haunted me, I'd just honestly, I'd no. I wouldn't know what to do. I'd throw up. <laughs> Crying and throwing up right now. Oh, God, I really did forget about the back over here. Or maybe it's because the back didn't want to be noticed. I'm just going to shot a couple of these in and, and uh, turn a blind eye and call it a day. That'll do. That'll do, don't care. I think we've done quite well with it, though. I really think it came out nice. I'm a big fan. <laughs> I genuinely thought there was a ghost in my house because I kept hearing tapping on the walls, but it turned out just to be the radiator. I've had my um, sister's fiancé, when I first moved into my old house, I had my sister's fiancé come round and look at, at every single place in the house because I swore i could hear noises constantly but it in fact was um the radiators but that was terrifying getting used to the new houses and new noises in the house is, is the most terrifying thing right i'm gonna put this on the gallery oh it's cordelia's secret cottage love you cordelia babe autumn cottage lol spooky stories galore And also, houses creak. Like, my house just creaks randomly. My voice just broke. My voice creaked randomly there. Right. I really enjoyed that stream. Actually, before I end it, I think I'm going to give a little tour. 
So, I don't know which way we're going to go in. We're going to go through the barn doors, get the authentic experience. We have the kitchen, which I love. I love the blue, blue and yellow. I'm glad I stuck with that rug. I really, oh, hello, good sir. Um, got a nice mirror there. The bathroom is very modern, very clinical. But I do enjoy it. The living room, I love. I wasn't hugely sold on using this wallpaper, but I think it all tied together in the end. And I like the, the desk there as well. And then we go up the ladders. The bedroom looks like Gryffindor common room. Tell me it doesn't. You can't, because it does. Right, now we need to get this in the right angle and right lighting. And move that tree to get a photo. Right. That is everything that I have for you today. Thank you all so, so much for watching. It's been a great stream. I've had a barrel of laughs. Novariti, thank you so much for subscribing. So let's have a little bruise. Oh, Momo's live. We're going to be raiding Momo, Miss Fortune. They're playing The Sims 4, which is fun. We love The Sims 4. We're fans of The Sims 4. Autumnal Sims 4. I love you all so, so much. Genuinely, thank you so much for this stream. Um, I've absolutely loved it. And I think I'm hoping that the next time is going to be Thursday that I'm live because my dad's home tomorrow. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I love you all so, so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, beach.